let's start talking about the female reproductive anatomy. We're first going to talk about the female external genitalia, also known as the vulva. Now, this view here is an inferior view. Um, I have this written over here. This is the anterior part. This is the posterior part, right? Right over here, I drew the dots up here. You're kind of looking up, so the breasts are coming anterior from the body if you were to look at the anatomic view, right? Um, here's another view for you, right? This is the same exact view. This is an inferior view. This is the anterior portion. And this here is the posterior portion. And we're going to focus heavily on these two triangles. The first triangle is the urogenital triangle. And the next triangle is the anal triangle, which contains the anus. Right? We're going to go more into what those boundaries are for the urogenital triangle and the anal triangle. Let's look at the first triangle triangle, the urogenital triangle. If you look at the word uro and genital, right, we have urine and genitals, which is for reproduction. Notice if you look at a woman right over here, she actually has two openings. One opening that I have drawn for you in yellow right over here, right, and she has another opening posterior to that, which is right over here, which is in beige. And notice I'm saying posterior and not inferior because this is an inferior view. So this is, you have the first triangle, I'm sorry, not the first triangle, the first opening called the urethral orifice that is anterior to the vaginal orifice. Notice a woman has two openings, whereas the male only has one opening. If we go back to the male reproductive system in the earlier slides, notice the male has just one urethral orifice right here. And remember the function of the male urethral orifice. It was an opening for both the urine and sperm, whereas if we go back to the female, a female happens to have two openings. She has the urethral orifice, specifically for urine, and the vaginal orifice, which is for reproduction. In fact, the vaginal orifice, I have this written for you over here, it's for a reproductive function, right? And a woman's vaginal orifice may contain some membrane layer called the hymen. Now the hymen is, I have this written for you over here, a covering membrane. I'm going to highlight it for you in yellow. Right, it's a covering membrane called the hymen. Right, and it covers the vaginal orifice. Now it can be broken in mostly one of two ways. Either during uh, sex, or if a woman were to get injured, it can also come off, right? So it doesn't necessarily have to be from sexual intercourse. A few terms I do want you to know for sexual intercourse, the term sex, sexual intercourse, copulation, and coitus means the same exact thing.